Hey everybody, Dr. Strong here and thank you for watching this video. Uh, today we're going to be talking about a gene that actually makes the ketogenic diet dangerous. Now, I don't know if you've heard this before, but the ketogenic diet is becoming very popular for helping people with blood sugar issues, type 2 diabetes, pre-diabetes, cancers, seizures, epilepsy. There are a slew of benefits when it comes to the ketogenic diet. So, one gene that you need to look at before you try a ketogenic diet. So that's what we're going to be uncovering in this video. So please make sure that you stay through and we'll be talking about those genes at the latter part of this video. Before we get started, please sure that you like and subscribe to the video and share this with any of your friends or family who might find this information useful, especially if they are doing the ketogenic diet and they're having chronic headaches, they're having chronic fatigue, whatever it may be. You, may, you want to make sure that they're doing it correctly or that they don't have the these particular genes that, that can make the ketogenic diet dangerous. It's my mission to help as many people as possible overcome their chronic health conditions so that they can have the highest quality of life as possible. So by sharing and liking this video, you help it get out to more people and you help me accomplish my mission of helping as many people as possible. So thank you for that. I really appreciate all the support that you all give me and let's get into the topic for today. So. With all the craze about the ketogenic diet, it would behoove anyone to know if they are a candidate for this type of diet because everybody is pushing this diet very hard, but nobody is really taking a step back and looking at the bigger picture. So does your genetics hinder the ketogenic diet from being beneficial to you? And are you doing it correctly? So those are two important key factors that I see most people making the biggest mistakes with. Now. First, for those who are not familiar with the ketogenic diet, here's a short summary. The ketogenic diet is a high fat, adequate protein, low carbohydrate diet that in medicine is used mainly to treat hard to control epilepsy in children. So children who have epilepsy or they have seizures, the ketogenic diet can be very beneficial for these types of patients. Now, what does this tell us? This tells us the ketogenic diet is great for the brain since epilepsy in children is mainly due to brain dysfunction. So by using a ketogenic diet, then we can actually look at the benefits that it's going to have on cognition. So whether it's dementia, whether it's just chronic brain fog, whether it's Alzheimer's, a ketogenic diet can be really helpful for these other conditions as well, which are mainly controlled by out of control uh, blood sugar, high insulin spikes. And we see now that Alzheimer's is also known as type 3 diabetes. Uncontrollable blood sugars are the main causes of the biggest three killers in the United States and around the world. And that looks like heart disease, cancers, and then also diabetes as well. So with that being said, using the ketogenic diet to help control these issues can be extremely beneficial for the mass population. Here are eight additional benefits that come along with the ketogenic diet. So triglycerides tend to drop drastically. Now triglycerides are mainly used to form like your hormones, to form a lot of your cell membranes, but too high can actually cause more issues than not. Especially if you are eating a high sugary diet, we know that and if you look at my past videos, that sugar causes inflammation in the vessels, but cholesterol and triglycerides are what are used to patch up and that's what leads to clogged arteries and that looks like what ends up leading to heart disease and heart attacks. Now, it leads to also increased levels of good HDL cholesterol, and this is the cholesterol that you want to be high because it helps sweep out the arteries and get rid of any inflammation. It also reduces blood sugar and insulin levels, and like we've said earlier, is blood sugar leads to a lot of these chronic conditions, even autoimmune conditions, that a lot of people just struggle with today. And so by reducing your blood sugar and reducing your insulin levels, we can say pretty confidently that we'll have a reduce in heart disease, a reduced increased risk of developing any type of heart attack or stroke. We'll have better cognition. We'll have less chance for any cognitive decline, which looks like dementia and Alzheimer's. So using this to our advantage can actually help our longevity and it can also help our quality of life as well. Now it may lower blood pressure as well. 
So by using the ketogenic diet, if you are having trouble controlling your blood pressure, you may utilize this in order to get that under control, especially if you're wanting to get off any type of medications, but you need to consult your PCP before you do that and talk to them. Now, it may be effective against metabolic syndrome. So if you're having trouble losing weight, then metabolic syndrome is a big issue, especially people who have these autoimmune thyroid issues. A lot of the times it's due to high cortisol levels, which looks like uncontrollable blood sugars. Now, I don't have time in this video to go through all of that and how that whole mechanism works. Cortisol will inhibit TSH and T3, which leads to thyroid dysfunction. So about 80% of these thyroid cases, so if you're taking Levo, if you're taking Synthroid or any of these other type of medications, Armour Thyroid, you want to look at your cortisol levels and you want to look at controlling your blood sugar because that can be a big constituent in it. Now, if you would like a video going more in depth about metabolic syndrome, then just comment below and hit the like button and go into further detail. If you have any questions, just comment below. I always respond to the comments so we can dive into that further as well. Now, back to the ketogenic diet, a greater proportion of fat loss comes from your abdominal cavity. So if you're having trouble getting rid of abdominal fat or if you're having trouble getting rid of your love handles, then the ketogenic diet can be a great way and you can also use that with intermittent fasting. I just posted a video about intermittent fasting and the benefits, eight evidence-based benefits of doing intermittent fasting to help you lose weight and to help your body heal overall. It will also improve the bad LDL cholesterol levels. So if you're having uh, high levels of LDL and you've been trying to get those down, but you're not having much success, then you may want to try switching over to a ketogenic diet. It's also therapeutic for several brain disorders. Like we talked about earlier, Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease. A kid is having seizures, epilepsy, or if you know somebody who is struggling from epilepsy or seizures, you may look at a ketogenic diet as well. Always make sure that you consult your neurologist or your primary care physician so that they can help give you direction and talk to them about the benefits of this. Now, with all of these benefits, the scientific literature has investigated if indeed this type of diet is beneficial for all people. Now, while it may be great for helping those diseases and helping people really overcome their chronic health issues, there may be a few genetic dysfunctions or disorders that actually can make this ketogenic diet dangerous. Now, while it may ultimately come down to your genes, most specifically your APOE genotype is the one that we're going to talk about today. Now, if you've made it this far in the video and thank you for staying with me, we're going to go over the three types of different APO genes that uh, can be harmful if you are doing the ketogenic diet. Now, so the APOE genes are the ones that we're going to discuss. Now, APOE2 is best suited for a high fat, low carbohydrate. Saturated fats are good for people who have this genetic makeup. Now, APOE3 is suitable for both, so high fat and high carb. And then APOE4 is best suited for high monosaturated fats, low carb diet. So avoid sat saturated fats. So if you've done these genetic tests, then you can use these to determine what type of diet you want to use. Now, research studies have shown that APOE4 carriers are most affected by high cholesterol and benefit more from a low saturated fat diet. Instead of using monosaturated fats, low carb diets, whereas APOE2 carriers are suited for a high fat, low carbohydrate diet, regardless of the saturated fats. So what that means is that uh, APOE4 carriers may not be as suited for the ketogenic diet, especially one that's high in saturated fats. Whereas if you have the APOE2 gene, then you may be suited for more of a ketogenic diet and you can consume more saturated fats. So what should you do? Ask your doctor to order an APOE genotype blood test and see if you are in fact a carrier of the APOE4 gene. If you are a carrier of the APOE4 gene, then I recommend decreasing your consumption of saturated fats and focus on monosaturated fats. So with that, I know that that was a lot of information, but basically what you can do is you can do the APOE genetic test and that can help you determine what is going on. Now I will put notes below this so that you can read them, you can go back and read or copy and paste them and then that way you don't have to remember it or you can come back and watch the video, just the latter part and get the information. 
so work with your doctor, figure out what uh, is going on. And if you've been doing the ketogenic diet and you're just not getting results, then you may wanna order this blood test so that you can really see exactly what's going on. Now, if you found this information helpful, then please help me achieve my mission of helping as many people as possible by hitting the like button and subscribing to the channel. It helps me reach more people and get this message out to the masses so that they can take control of their health and have the highest quality of life as possible. Now, you can also share this on your socials, share it with your friends and family, and thank you for your support, and I look forward to hearing your success. Bye-bye.